back with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So before I started the podcast, I was just procrastinating on Instagram like I normally do. Thank fuck Instagram is back as well because it being down didn't stop me from being on Instagram. It didn't slow down my Instagram use at all. I just stared at the one picture for like four hours. I still open the app the same amount of times as I normally would if it was working. I don't know what the fuck Instagram has done to my brain, but it's fucking completely cooked it. I didn't even notice Facebook was down, but Instagram, it has its tentacles in me. So I was fucking around on Instagram just doing nothing, just trying to avoid starting the podcast, and I get a message. And the message is, Hi Boyle, I'm doing a small film for an American company. Was wondering if you'd be interested to audition. The film is to be shot in Bangalore. And I'm like, at last I'm getting some goddamn respect in this funky fucking town. It's obviously an organ harvester. They've run out of organs again. And they're trying to get my fucking healthy liver. Because I'm pretty sure the last audition I was meant to do, that Swedish fucking fly spray paper. No, the sticky fucking mosquito paper in Sweden. I'm pretty sure they just wanted my fucking kidneys. Because after the lockdown, they're like, are you still keen? And I'm like, what? It's like two months after the initial offer to do the fucking sticky fly screen paper. And he's like, do you want to come down and do the ad still? And I'm like, hey, I'm going to pass on the Swedish sticky mosquito paper ad, okay? It's not worth risking my kidneys for that. So I get this message and I'm like, I'm up for it. I don't really care what the fuck it is. I'm up for it. I'll go down. I'll do fucking the audition. Maybe lose a fucking spleen or something. It's kind of a lose-lose situation, but I'm into it. So I send back a message. I would love to come down for your fucking audition. When is it? And what's this film about? And then like 15 minutes later, he sends back a message saying, it's on Friday. And I'm like, no problem. And then another 15, 20 minutes after that, He sends me a message saying, it's a film on World Coming Out Day for a corporate company. World Coming Out Day. The boy owl is going to become a gay fucking icon. So I'm like, I am in. No questions asked. (laughs) I am in. Whatever you need to do, even if that corporation is Pornhub, whatever needs to be done, I'm in. So I'm going to be in some corporate video for World Coming Out Day. Or, alternatively, I'm going to wake up naked in a bath of ice with half my liver missing. Actually, I'm probably going to wake up naked either way. (laughs) Whether I'm in the film or they take my fucking organs. I'm looking forward to it. I really don't need to prepare that much. He actually just sent a message back saying, I might need you to audition. (laughs) As if I need to audition. As if he's going to find a gayer cunt than me floating around. What the fuck do I need to audition for? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. This is starting to fucking turn. What does this audition involve? In brackets, I'm willing to do... (laughs) I'm willing to do anything. Wink, wink, fucking capsicum emoji or fucking eggplant emoji. I need to audition. That sounds like the biggest setup of all time. Just need you to come in, see the director, spend a few hours in his office alone with him. Wear something nice, loose fitting. (laughs) This is absolutely a win-win now. It went from being a lose-lose to a fucking win-win. I'm following in the footsteps of fucking another great Australian Heath Ledger. Fucking Brokeback Mountain, then the Joker. I'll be fucking this corporate gay video, and then I don't know what I'll do. I assume the offers will just start pouring in. See, I'm already in character. I assume I'll get more auditions. Nah, that's not the way I'm going to approach this role. I'm going to approach this role as like a straight appearing gay dude. Like people won't even know. Fuck, I hope I get this role. I can't wait to get the footage of me (laughs) on World Coming Out Day.
doing whatever I need to do, and then just colourful fucking rainbows splashed all over the screen. Hey, if I, as a straight married man with two children, can help... (laughs) Can help gay people come out of the closet on World Coming Out Day. I didn't even know there was a World Coming Out Day. Is it a new thing? Because I thought World Coming Out Day was just, you turn up to Mardi Gras and you accidentally walk in front of the news camera and your parents are watching the news at home and then you're outed. Let's see what this audition involves, eh? Let's go back to Instagram. Let's see if he's replied. No, he hasn't replied. That sucks. Let's see what he looks like. Is he a gay dude? I can't tell if he's gay, but there's literally not one single girl on his entire Instagram feed. So, and there's a photo of him in a bubble bath. So, I'm thinking this is possibly a setup. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going regardless. This is how actresses in Hollywood must feel. Except they have a little bit more on the reward side. At least after you've blown Harvey Weinstein, he gives you a good fucking movie. You become like Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm going to have to blow... Have to. (laughs) I'm going to have to blow some Indian dude to maybe get into a corporate video. At least I'll be able to hashtag me too. But I'm looking forward to this. Here's another fucking adventure. Let's see where this leads. Anyway, I'll keep you updated on that one. That's it for tonight. If you're enjoying the podcast, share it around with your friends and I'll see you the fuck later.